I learned how to smile from Royce. Shout out to him. He has, he has a big smile. Mm-hmm. He can smile too. Lonnie, you've been out for a few weeks with the hamstring. How are you doing and how's the recovery process been? Uh, I'm struggling. I mean, as far as like dying to play back on the court, you know, I kind of just been sitting on the court watching everyone shoot, touching the floor, getting really excited, you know, as the, you know, Time till we get a little closer and closer. But um, mentally, I'm good. Physically, I'm feeling really good. I uh, had a really good um, uh, workout session after practice. So I'm just in a really good place. We know the timetable we thought was going to be earlier, but then you got sick with a virus. How did that halt things, and how did you kind of balance that in the system? Um, it, it was for sure very... Uh, uh, I can't really find the word. It was very, it, it pissed me off a lot, honestly. I mean, I was home, I was very upset. Uh, just because I want to play back, I want to play with my guys, I want to play with my family, my teammates, um, and, and, and win and get better. So um, I think on the bright side of things, you know, um, just gave me more time to kind of recover and make sure once I'm back 100%, I can go as far, as hard as I want to go. So um, I'm trying not too much to look at the negative, but the positive as, you know, time is ticking and uh, being on the course starting to approach. So you had the virus, where are you hamstring-wise in terms of? Um, I'm getting there. Um, still no timetable, but uh, today was a very, very huge step forward as far as understanding how my physical aspect, as far as movement and, and jumping and running, um, how I feel. Um, I felt terrific. This is probably the best I felt in, in quite a long time. It was a, a very severe pull. Was there a tear? I mean, I understand that all pulls are mm-hmm. to some extent a tear. Mm-hmm. But I mean, was it a pull, and then did you backslide off of that, or was it just, was there a tear? What? Um, just a hamstring strain, I guess you could say. Um, you know, when it happened, I felt like it was a pull. Um, I was in a bit of a, I thought I had a cramp when I was running up and down, so I thought it would go away. Um, and then after a while, it kind of just settled down. I'm like, it, it don't feel right. So, you know, this is one of my first times kind of having one, you know, so. Um, everyone's telling me to take it slow, even though I have my days where I'm like, man, I feel great. But in the retrospect, you know, hamstrings are very tricky. You know, just because you feel good doesn't mean you're 100% yet. So, um, you know, just taking it day to day, you know, trying to be as good as I can, as if not better than I was yesterday, and um, recover a lot better. Did it feel, I mean, you probably just said it, but it felt, I'm guessing, different. I remember you said before, if you want to play, you're going to play. I know you can play the knee injury, play the other things. This definitely felt more different than just something you just wanted to try to play through. Okay. For sure. Um, I don't think this is something that you can physically play through. You know, if I could physically play through it, I would. Um, I think that's just the harder thing is, like, being patient, you know, um, you know, because you don't want injuries like this to linger throughout the entire season. And now your production isn't how it you expected it to be or the way you're playing isn't what you wanted it to be or whatnot or, you know, you feel like you're failing your teammates. So um, I'm trying to do my diligence as far as being disciplined. Um, understanding that I'll be back on that court sooner rather than later um, and just leave it all in God's hands. And what are you able to do and what's the next step in recovery? As far as movement mm-hmm. and stuff, and movement. Uh, today was, you know, like I said, today was a huge day. You know, I did a couple sprints, um, you know, dunking the ball a little bit, you know, as much as I can, you know, not going too fast, but uh, fast enough. So, um, you know, I'm just following what my trainers are telling me, you know, uh, what my coaches want me to do, you know, and just getting ready. But, I mean, I'm excited. You know, I've, I've really been thinking about when I'm back on the court. Um, and I'm just very happy that I could even go on this road trip and, you know, be around my family, my teammates, and my guys. And, um, you know, just continue to grow. This is a four-game road trip a week away. Is the expectation that you could possibly return at some point on the road? Um, God willingly. You know, I don't have a clear-cut answer for that. Um, you know, it's entirely up to, you know, how my trainers and my strength team may feel, you know, as far as progression goes. So, um, like I said, I'm, I'm day-to-day right now, you know, seeing how I feel, you know, even when I feel great, you know, just checking on it, seeing if it's still stable, what, what it is and whatnot, because, you know, a hamstring is very tricky. Um, so, you know, like I always keep saying, day-to-day. <laughs> Of course, when you, when you are back on the court, the next question is going to be, okay, how long is it going to take him to regain that offensive rhythm? 
you know, for someone whose mobility has been like, you know, limited in recent weeks because of the injury, what are some things that you can still do to stay sharp, although, you know, you can't move the way you'd like to? Um, I mean, I'm staying on my P's and Q's. Um, I think, you know, the definition or the meaning of staying ready, I really, it speaks highly on my, my resume, you know, speaking of last year being injured and, you know, playing. So uh, I'm watching a lot of film. Honestly, watching my teammates, seeing what I could provide when I'm on the court rather than trying to be like a ball dominant player or whatnot. Um, and I'm still going to the gym. I mean, even if I can't move and whatnot, you know, I'll get 200, 300 of form shots, you know, 200, 300 free throws. You know, I have one of my homies coming to me. So uh, it's not like, you know, my time off, I'm at the home playing video games, eating popcorn and whatnot. You know, usually. I have my workout session in the morning, and then I go back to the gym at night, you know, and I just sit there, you know. I really love this game a lot, so um, if there's anything that I can do, even though it's very slightly or very, you know, slowly, uh, I'm willing to do it. So you're telling me you ain't play one video game? Of course I played a video game, my boy. <laughs> but in the midst of it all, you know, uh, you know, just trying to put in a little bit more extra work if I can, you know. But I'm, yeah, I'm on the game. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much.